Welcome back for another Geography SMR session and for today we're gonna discover together Switzerland or Swiss with the best known fact of course well Switzerland has 26 regions known as
I mentioned. Swiss food, yes, Swiss meat is among the most expensive meats or foods sourced in the world. High Swiss tariffs on the food and drink imports are designed to protect the local farmers, who generally have smaller farms than international competitors, and the steps cost of high price island. Switzerland. So this is a political rule in order to keep the small business or uh, food business running good for them. And I mentioned also chocolate. They make and eat a lot of chocolate, a lot, approximately one hundred eighty thousand. One hundred eighty thousand tons of chocolate per year. Is made in about one eleven kilograms of chocolate per person are eaten per year. My God, this is crazy. There is even a chocolate train here running in Switzerland. Now, these were the general facts about Switzerland. And let's start with the cantons. Cantons. First canton is, we're gonna talk, it's Zurich, which is in the north. And um, I'm gonna Then. 
intensity of microbreveries. So we have beer here. Microbreveries in the country making the city Switzerland's beer capital. Bern is called also beer capital in Switzerland. Alright, another big brand has its production here. It's Toblerone, the chocolate uh, producer Toblerone. That triangular shaped chocolates. Very delicious. Toblerone still produce entirely a production of chocolates in Bern. It's probably the most famous sweet chocolate, also milk. It's another big brand. Um, and um, why is this uh, place so famous? The birthplace of Shoggy. It's written Shoggy. What means Shoggy? Well, it's the ancestor of the chocolate because in 1879 1879. In 1879, Rudolf Lind, son of a pharmacist, invented the conjuring method. And with that, the smooth and creamy chocolate that we know today. So, the chocolate was invented by a Swiss pharmacist. How poetic. All right. And um, because we talk about Bern, I mentioned that Albert Einstein worked on the, at the patent office in Bern and came up with the relativity good ideas in his free time. And in 1905, in 1905, uh, Albert Einstein published the famous world relativity theory in the journals of Bern. Yes, these are the best facts about Bern. Um, now, let's move next. The next one, it's nearby. The next canton is Lucerne or Luzerne. I'm gonna drop the contour. This is also outlined with uh, with a white stroke, and um, it's very hard for me to cover it with the black uh, ink. The capital is Lucerne, and. Uh, Let's talk about the city of Lucerne, because the city is well known for its stunning medieval architecture and uh, its stunning location on the edge of Lake Lucerne. Well, we, on this uh, type of map we cannot see the lakes. The name was associated by popular etymology with Latin Lucerna, means lantern. Lucerna, which is means lantern, right? Okay, these were the facts about Lucerne. Now we are moving a little bit side on the, on the east side, and the next canton. It's Yuri. Yuri. Let's draw the contour. And Yuri. Okay. The capital of Yuri is Altdorf. This city here. Yeah. About now comes the fact about half of the canton's area is reckoned as. 
less productive forests forests occupy part of the canton and more than 20% of the unproductive area it's covered with glaciers the population is mostly roman catholic and german speaking well here lies the 57 kilometers 57 kilometers Cotter tunnel which i mentioned before which is the longest railway tunnel in the world it's between yuri and ticino right here <laughs> all right now uh, let's move to the next one a little bit north okay and uh, we're gonna talk about Schweiz Schweiz can do well this is a very interesting fact because it's one of the founding cantons of Switzerland Switzerland's name is derived from the name of the canton Schweiz and the flag of Switzerland from its coat of arms Schweiz canton has the most millionaires per capita in Europe cool facts so if you want to meet millionaires you should go and visit Schweiz canton okay now next one is a very small canton here yeah, it's with na uh, uh, with uh, number 10 and it's called Opfalden which is split in two parts this one and this one Opfalden capital it's summon all right opfalden means above the forest and refers to great forest of currents that divided the two demi cantons in the middle ages this is these are the mid, mid demi cantons sorry traditional industries are still of great importance particularly forestry and related business are significant agriculture in Opfalden is specialized in integrated dairy and meat farming and almost 90% of the farms inside this area are family run okay this is interesting all right The next canton it's right between them and it's called Niedwalden which is this one between the two parts of Obwalden the capital is Stans city of Stans Niedwalden is it is traditionally considered half canton the other half paying Opfalden and it's one of the smallest cantons so this all of them all three parts two of Opfalden one in Valden it's considered one canton but it's split in three parts in Valden it's dominated by agriculture cattle breeding and cheese industry you know we have here Swiss cheese the famous Swiss cheese, Swiss cheese. Let's move next. And the next one is Clarus. Clarus. Clarus.
capital of Clarus it's Clarus yeah all right wood textile and plastics as well as printing are the dominant industries the population is German speaking in this area these were only the facts that I found about this small canton named Clarus all right we're gonna stay in the area and we're gonna talk about Zug Canton Zug another small canton you mean Zug in Deutsche Sprache means train well actually Zug is known above all for its many cherry trees the juicy Zug cherries are used to make all kinds of culinary specialties the most famous of which are the Taubte Zug cherry cake and Kirschlikörn Kirsch mean, means cherry in German alright these were the facts about Zug Kandun alright time to move next in this part, in the western part, it's Freiburg, Freiburg, Kandun. Let's drop the contour. Right now, Freiburg or Freiburg, there are two names. It's Freiburg. It's a French and German speaking canton. Both languages are officially here. Well, there are breweries and foundry and factories that manufacture chocolate. So we have chocolate here. Chocolate. Machinery and precision instruments. Yes, you know that Switzerland is also called the precision country. In 2016 the town of um, took, uh, began accepting digital currency for small payments of municipal fees. Then in 2021 the canton started accepting Bitcoin and Ethereum for personal and company taxes. Well this were the facts about Freiburg Freiburg all right so the next one is Solothurn and the canton has a very odd shape it's here this one with blue and has also some remote areas let's say that Solothurn almost done yes the capital it's Solothurn or Salur Solur uh, it's not written here on the map Well, Salatorn had its vineyards and well known Lovo area. Lovo area. And on the river of air, the wine was transported to the cities around. An um, interesting fact is that here in this region or canton, there are five seasons of the year spring, summer, fall, winter and Fasnacht and Fasnacht well Fasnacht it's traduced it's translated in German like Fast nine, a night Fasnacht means night in German Fasnacht okay I don't know what the 
real means of Fasnacht it's for this but I think this is related with the uh, with the time of the year when the nights are very short I believe all right now we're gonna move next we have the basal puzzle in the north there are two parts this is the puzzle start here puzzle start which is a very small canton and puzzle it's commonly considered to be cultural capital of the switzerland puzzle city and the city is famous for its many museums, including the Kunstmuseum, which is the first collection or holds the first collection of arts accessible to public from 1661. 1661. And the largest museum of art in Switzerland. Well, the well-known University of Basel. It's the oldest university found that in 1460 the Roche Tower has 41 floors and 178 meter it's Roche Roche Tower or Roche Tower upon its opening in 2015 it's became the tallest building in Switzerland in its inside this city Basel well that's the city of Basel now we're gonna move next because then our next um, canton it's Basel Landschaft which is this area near the city Basel Landschaft Well, the capital is Listel. It holds the same name as the city of Basel, but it's a different canton. Well, inside here, or in this location, fruit growing, dairy farming, and cattle breeding are important source of businesses, chemical, metal products, machinery, and precision instruments are also manufactured. Listal, this city, it's an industrial town with cobbled streets. Not all are cobbled, but most of them are cobbled streets, and that's why it's so well renowned. Listal. These were the facts about Basel Landschaft. Okay, time to move next. And um, another very small canton is Schaffhausen. Uh, Schaffhausen, sorry. Schaffhausen. It's near the border with Germany. It's flanked by Germany territory. Okay about the Schaffhausen the capital is the city with the same name the old town has many fine renaissance era buildings decorated with exterior frescoes and sculpture as well as the old canton fortress the Munot Munot Schaffhausen is also a railway junction of Swiss to German rail networks. Yes. And these were the facts about Schaffhausen. All right. So the next, the next one is Appenzoll. But there are two, there are one count one canton that it's divided in two parts and the boat contain are named Appenzoll. Okay, we're gonna start with Appenzoll Außerhoden. 
Ausroden. All right, which is this one with brown color? Appenzell Ausroden. Let's try the condo. All right, and uh, the capital is Herisau. This one. Okay, with its rolling green hills, home of the thousand cows, it's called home of thousand cows. The area is well known for its production of Appenzeller cheese. Appenzeller cheese. <coughs> and Herisau is a cattle market and also serves as a manufacturing center for cotton, textile, electrical products and metal. So these were the facts about Appenzeller Ausroden. Well, now let's move to the next Appenzeller Innerhoden, which is this one, the lower part. And here, um, about Appenzeller Innerhoden, the capital, it's Appenzell. It's Milk for Appenzeller cheese comes from only cows that are fed exclusively in this area with hay and pastures. Somehow, somehow before the early 2000s, the idyllic countryside of Appenzell, Inner Oden apparently became popular with nudists. And at the 2009 Landsgemeinde, the cantons Residents were to prohibit naked hiking. Well, now it's prohibited, but it was allowed until 2009 to make tourist trips and hiking nude. Good. All right, let's move next. Next region is St. Gallen or Canton. Let's draft the Canton. And the capital is St. Gallen. Here. Yeah. The main tourist attraction is the Abbey of St. Gall, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Abbey is renowned for its library that contains books from 9th century. century. St. Gall is a great city to live for expats working in Zurich because of the lower cost of living. Well, these were the facts about St. Gallen. All right, now we're gonna move southeast and we have the Graubünden. Graubünden. And let's draw the contour. This is one I think the largest area or canton in the Switzerland country. something but okay perfect well Graubünden or Grishon or Grichoni has three names but it's called Graubünden 
him. The village is the birthplace of alpine winter tourism in 1864 and the scene of two winter olympics. So if you want to travel and see the glaciers with the train, here is the spot nearby. This area is renowned for its railway that goes high up in the mountains to the glaciers and the peaks of the Alps mountain. Good. Now, let's move next. This one. Next in our list it's Arau. Or Arkau. Arkau. But it's also Arau. Strauf the Kundu. Um, Arkau it's known as Rübli land, current country, Rübli land, known, so that means current. How the Canton got the nickname it's unknown, it is not related to growing or eating carrots. Arau, the town, which is the capital also, it's famous for being the first capital of Switzerland when the country was transformed into the Helvetic Republic by the Napoleon Bonaparte. Cool facts, indeed. Okay, next one. It's Turgau, from Argau to Turgau. Um, all right. Perfect. Now, let's talk about Turgau. Well, the capital is Frauenfeld. Frauenfeld. Well, Turgau is prosperous agriculture area known for apples and pears. So, apple and pears. I just wrote on the Constance Lake, but it's pears from here. Um, and for its cedar making, of course, there are vineyards along the lake. Constance and the Tour Valley industries include the manufacture of metal products, machinery and beverage. Perfect. Apple cider. Very good. The facts for Turgau. Okay, move, time to move south again. And here we have Ticino. Ticino, which is an Italian name, but it's a canton in Switzerland. Ticino. And the capital is Bellinzon, this city. Although so famous, it is Lugano. Well, now the facts about Ticino. The half of the canton is covered in forests and some wood. Forests. The Contra Dam. Uh, it's written like this. Contra. Dam. The Contra Dam. It's the only, it's the only, the, uh, the four tallest, four tallest dams in Switzerland, but it's possibly the most famous thanks to its starring role in the opening scenes of the film Golden Eye, when James Bond jumps off the top of it. Pierce Brosnan played James Bond in that movie. So, if you want to see the Contra Dam, just watch the golden night from i think it's 1997 or 1996 i know uh, uh, sequel of the james bond uh, franchise 
these were the facts about Ticino. Now, let's move next near the border with France. The next canton it's named Vaud. Vaud. So we have the 
Lake Geneva. Geneva. Lake. Well, Geneva is very famous because it's the second biggest city in Switzerland and it's situated to the Lake Lemon Lake Geneva. Well, actually, in Geneva there are the headquarters of Europe's United Nation and Red Cross. So we have UN here and Red Cross. Cross. Geneva has the longest wooden bench in the world, 100 meters. The World Wide Web, which are using today as the base of the internet, was created in Geneva. So, you know, the World Wide Web is translated a bit by www. When you put in the front of a domain in order to open a website, a URL, www was invented in Geneva, created. The first Where's the Watch attention was made in Geneva in 1868. 1868 by Patek Philippe, which created the first Where's the Watch. God damn it, I want to visit Geneva. So, I think you may have heard about like Philippe, the famous Swiss brand watchmaker. And these were the facts about Geneva. Now, let's move next. The next canton that we're gonna talk about is Jura. Jura, Jura. All right. Let's draw the canton.